Great. So welcome everyone. This is our total body workout class. So we're gonna go ahead and just start with the warm up. Let's just go left to right, right here. Just looking left to right. I think it just adjusts to the shadows, not sure. Get the spotlight for this, just left and right. There we go. Left to right. Up and down. Yeah, I did that race yesterday. Ended up doing pretty well, but I feel better now, but yesterday was not too high. I rolled my ankle pretty bad, but it wasn't my ankle that was hurting. It was more of my shin. I'm hoping there's not much damage there. This is next circles. Are you wearing an ankle brace? No, 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 no. It's not that bad. Like, I rolled my ankle in but I felt the pain like up here. Oh. Yeah, so, um, and it happened like in the first 20 seconds of the race. Oh no. <laughs> Switch. So yeah, so, and then it went away and then I rolled it again. Did you finish the race? What's that? Did you finish the race? Yeah, 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 no, we finished. Um, let's go ahead and bring that arm over. Yeah, finish the race. Um, the race was about 40 minutes long. Oh, okay. After that initial um, turn, mm -hmm. our ankle roll, it happened about five minutes after again. And then it, I just felt it the rest of the race. And then it was um, part of the, of the racetrack went through a, like a dried up like small creek. So there's a lot of rocks and I just had to walk through there um but yeah it was it was fun so our next one will be in about two months but that one's a half marathon uh the one i did yesterday was a 5k and that right arm across so yeah so today we'll go uh we'll try to get through three giant sets again um and yeah, we'll go through three giant sets, hitting cardio, upper body, lower body, abs, and arms. So trunk rotation, so gently left to right. Let's do ab circles. Yeah, so we did pretty good. Um, I ended up placing, I think from the open field, I think it said fourth out of 2,500 and something. And then um, my friend was about 20th or 19th. And we both did really good. Got a nice medal for it. Let's do a big hula hoops. Yeah, the obstacle again, I couldn't complete was the spear throw. I, I thought I had it, I, I threw it and it hit the target and it just fell, I didn't stick. So I did better than last time, but it was still upsetting. <laughs> So yeah, so there's a way you could track what obstacles you completed and uh, switch. And out of the 45 obstacles um, that I've encountered, I've missed two and both of those have been the spear throws. So it's <laughs> a little annoying. So hopefully I gotta, I gotta go practice somewhere. And it's probably just as light as a, as a broomstick. So it's not too heavy. I just gotta like get it down. 
this is our quad stretch. Yeah. So again, sorry for the confusion. I know some people, some people uh, thought the class was Wednesday, Friday, but yeah, it's Monday, Wednesday. So just last week. Switch. I registered for a class on Sundays. Oh, okay. What class? See, uh, it's a strange name. I don't remember of the coach. Okay. Let me, I'm going to try to move this diagonally. Maybe I could get a better light. But it's a workout class? Yes, it's a full body workout. That's still a hamstring stretch? Oh, okay, good. So let's just reach down. This is better lighting, right? Yeah, I think during COVID, there's maybe like six of us that were doing fitness classes. And I think now there might be like three of us. So then just bring your chest towards your knees. All right, and let's bring our glutes to our heels and then back up. Right here, do about eight of these. All right, and our last one is our deep squat stretch. So just drop down. All right, so we're probably going to do, um, like I said, any uh, floor or any chest exercise that we do uh, will probably be on the floor. Any back exercise that we do will probably be bending over, like a row or a different or a reverse dumbbell fly. Shoulders will be standing up. Abs will do on the floor and legs could be standing up or on the floor. So just have your yoga mat ready, uh, you know, off to the side because we'll be using on um, the yoga mat for every core movement. And then just shift your weight left to right. Good morning, Terry, Olivia, Rebecca, Sapina, Mohammed. Yeah, we have our, um, our next race it's going to be in Santa Margarita Ranch, which is north of San Luis Obispo. So, yeah, we thought it was going to be by Solvang, but I think we might stay in Pismo Beach for that one. So, hopefully make a nice weekend out of it. And we're going to have our, our kids compete for that one. So, we'll have a five-year-old, a six-year-old, eight-year-old, and a ten-year-old doing that competition. So, should be fun. All right, so let's get your water. Let's get your yoga mat. Um, I don't know if we'll need a chair necessarily for today. Um, I know I mentioned it yesterday, but we'll need yoga mat, weights, uh, water for sure. Okay, so let's get this ready. Give you about a minute to gather those items or collect yourself. All right, and then I'm going to ask you on the chat if you could, from one through five, just put me how good you feel. Five, feeling great. You want a solid workout. One, you just want to stretch and not do much. Okay, so let's go one through five. Come on, Carmen. 2.5. All right, <laughs> we're getting specific. So... I see three, I see three. Oh, Debbie says seven. All right, one through five, and Debbie put seven. All right. <laughs> You're I was good, going Debbie. to put in 10 and to put 10, but you know. <laughs> All right. So a lot of C, several fives. Let's see. Jeannie, you got a three. Sharice. All right, Sharice feeling good. All right, you got a four in there. Awesome. Ella, seven. All right. So cool. So I'm seeing a lot of from threes to fives pretty much but go on your own pace you don't want to hurt your uncle yeah yeah so no i'm like i said on the email i'm gonna be 
probably the leg ones I'll take a little easier. And then this morning, just driving, I felt my shoulder. But yeah, I think I'm just falling apart right now. Um, so let's do this. So if you're feeling um, like a three, give me 30 seconds to 40 seconds of effort. If you're feeling four or better, let's go for 50 seconds. And if you put a five in there, um, what I want you to do in between rest is let's do at least um, 20 seconds of jumping jacks in there in between. Okay, so you just kind of keep your heart rate going. Um, cause again, not everyone's going to feel the same. So I just want to be fair for everyone, but other than that, let's go ahead and start with jumping jacks. So again, jumping jacks, I'm just going to be here and I'm not going to do those very much, but, or you could do a side step and we're going to go 30 to 50 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So again, jumping jacks or side step. I think the bouncing hurts my ankle, so I'm just doing these for now. And just with the warm up alone, we're at about 40, sec 40 calories burned, so. Okay. We're at 25 seconds right now. Thirty five seconds. Forty. Three, two, one time. All right, so I'm just recover, but I'm on my five to do jumping jacks uh, in between the lips. Okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do push ups. We'll start off with our chest. So we're going to do push ups. So you can do knee assisted push ups or regular push ups. Okay. If you're ready, we'll start. We'll give each other about 30 seconds to 40 seconds rest in between lifts. So we'll start in five, four, three, two, one, 15 push ups. Ready, go. The 15 push ups. Okay. Awesome. All right. We're going to stick to the floor since we're already down here for core. Okay. And we'll probably do our leg movement down here as well. Okay. So let's go ahead for core. We're either going to do crunches or sliding sit ups. So crunches. We're here, sliding sit-ups, hands on your laps, and you bring your hands towards your knees. Okay, we'll start in 15 seconds. See some people finishing up their push-ups right now. So again, 30 to 50 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Twenty seconds. At right, thirty seconds. Forty seconds. Three, two, one. Time. All righty. Okay. Next, we're going to go with um, glute bridges. Okay. So we're still on the floor. So we're here. We're going to be on the floor. You could do single leg, so elevated, or you could just do regular glute bridges. So we're here. Hips up, squeeze the glutes, and then back down slowly. Okay. So we're going to do, if you're doing um, regular glute bridges, we're going to do 15 with a two second hold at the top. If you're doing single leg, I want you to do eight on each leg. Okay, ready, 
Okay, go. One, two, down. So remember, squeeze, hold for two seconds, and then come back down. Let's keep going. So if you need eight on each leg or 15, if you're using both legs. Then good. Good stuff. Right, see people still working. Good, good, good. Yeah, this one hurt my glutes. I think my glutes are still sore. I think they're sore from the ride from Mammoth, that six hour drive. My lower back was not liking it. All right. Okay, so now we need um, arms. Okay, so for arms, let's go ahead. You could just be kneeling and we're gonna do hammer curls. Okay, so hammer curls, just grip it like a hammer. So you're just gonna grip, instead of doing a regular bicep curl, we're gonna do hammer. So hammer, also a little bit more range of motion. Um, bicep curls would be here. Hammer curls, you're gonna go a little bit more and then fully extend, okay? Ready? So 10 to 15, ready, go. So, and then control it. If your weights are really light, just go slower. If anyone ever wants to join me in one of those races, just let me know. You could join our group. So we have uh, our youngest member will be six years old. And I think uh, right now, our oldest, I think he's 39, but you could have anyone. And then, so they offer the the 5K, the 10K, and the half marathon at some of these events. And some people are crazy and do all three on the same weekend. So um, if you do that, you get a special medal. So maybe someday, but I don't, I don't know about right now. So I'm just complaining about the shortest race and <laughs> it's supposed to be two of the longer ones. Very good. All right, so 10 to 15. We'll give yourself a minute to recover and we're going to repeat that set again. So again, it's going to be um, jumping jacks, um, push-ups, core, we'll switch the core up and then glute bridges and hammer curls. Let me see. My buddy just got his pictures, but pretty much there's like this thing you have to climb over. There's us right there. Trying to look funny. Uh, that's a, like a 60 pound bucket. You got to walk around this hilly terrain for about uh, two minutes or so. It's a fire thing you have to jump over. Monkey bars is like a, a given. You, you have monkey bars or variations of them everywhere. There's a, a pool of mud you have to go through as well. And then, yeah, so I'm sure he'll get more pictures, but yeah, it was fun. Fun event. Uh, you haven't done that, have you? I, no, I, I did. Yeah. So did. that's, yeah, that's, that's what I did um, yesterday. 
Oh, that's what the, the yesterday was. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, this is a picture to my wife. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I, I have to thank her for letting me get away for the weekend. So, all righty. So let's go ahead back to the jumping jacks. So 30 to 50 seconds. Okay. And if you want to switch it up, um, if the jumping jacks are a little bit easy, what you could do um, for my more advanced power jacks, you already know how those go. Okay. A little bit more technique there. So ready? Three, two, one, go. So jumping jacks, power jacks, or step side jacks. Debbie, I thought you were going to be the first one doing power jacks. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I can't do a power jack right now. So my goal time for the race, me just being, I don't know, I guess inconsiderate of the the terrain. I thought I was gonna finish 10 minutes faster. And uh, when I looked down on my watch, I thought I was gonna finish in 25 minutes. I still had another mile to go. So definitely need to respect the race a little more. And time, that was 50 seconds for everyone. So there you go, good stuff. There you go, Jeannie. Jeannie's going for a minute. Alrighty. Good. One minute right there. Push ups. Okay. Ooh. So our push ups in 12 seconds. So again, 10 to 15 push ups. All right. Ready? 10 to 15. Okay, go. Make sure you go all the way down. Uh, job. She needs on a mission. There you go, Ella. Ooh. Yeah, I think the next um, local race is at um, Angel Stadium. So that's where they're doing the next one. But I'm a Dodgers fan, so I'm not supporting. <laughs> Charisse is hating on me right now. <laughs> so, no, it's too soon. I think I'll wait. I think the Angel Stadium one could wait. So, all righty. Okay, Russian twist. So we're going to elevate our heels and then elbows. Try to bring those elbows towards the back. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Yeah, that one's in like three weeks. So, but I think next year I'm going to try to do at least maybe five of those. So again, elbows behind the back. Right, 40 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right, glute bridges. So if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, this time you could have your dumbbells right at that crease of your hip to add a little bit of more weight. Or you could always just opt to do the single leg as well. Okay. So again, give me 15 if you're using both legs or eight on each leg if you're doing singles. So remember, and then let's go for three second hold this time. So we're here. One, two, three, down, 
Okay. Ready? Okay, go. Three second hold. Eight. Nine. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And then fifteen. Nine. And then we have our hammer curls. Okay, so just got a little bit of water, hammer curls, and then we're gonna go into our second giant set. I don't know if you folks have ever gone to Old Town Temecula, but it's really nice. It's the first time I've ever been there. Uh, but my buddy said it gave him like Nashville on um, vibes. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I could see why people go there for bachelorette parties. So yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of fun stuff. So all right, let's go ahead and do our hammer curls. So number fifteen of these, right here. Ready? Okay, here you go. So all the way up. Control on the way down. So thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Awesome. All right, we get eighty seconds rest. So eighty seconds rest, and we'll start with their next one. Okay. So for our next one, we're gonna do lateral and front raises. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and do. Um, tricep kickbacks for our triceps. Um, for cardio, let's go ahead. For cardio, we'll do out and forward and back. It's almost like a like a hopscotch. Okay. Um, I won't do those because I feel those on that. For core, we're getting on the floor, probably a plank variation. And for legs, um, let's go ahead and do RDLs. So RDLs, almost like the hamstring stretch come down and then we come back up. We have about 40 more seconds. So let's get some water, but that's gonna be our next giant set. Alrighty, okay. So, what do we say? So we have our front raises, okay? So, all right. I had some folks email me right now that they couldn't find the Zoom link, so I was just trying to help them back. We're gonna go out, forward here, okay? So, if you're ready, we're gonna do eight of each. Ready, okay, go, so lateral raise, and then front raise. And adjust control that, control it on the way down, 
on the way up. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Okay. All right. We're gonna let the arms relax a little bit. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is gonna be the uh, hopscotch. So remember, we go out in and then forward and back. So from the side. Okay, and then we switch the legs. All right, 30 to 50 seconds. We'll start in three, two, one, go. All right, you got your hopscotch, so I get here. Keep going. There you go. This stuff. We're at 30 seconds. Yeah, ladies, 40 seconds. Three, two, one. Very good. All right. Okay. Let's grab those dumbbells. We're going to transition to tricep kickbacks. Okay. So this one, we're going to go ahead, bend over, elbows back, and then just stretch at the elbow. So just your forearms move back, okay? Your elbows don't swing. We're not doing this here. That's more of a shoulder movement. So just elbows back, extend, and come back. Okay, so 12 to 15, ready, go. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. Whew. Okay. So I'm going to let the hamstrings relax a little bit because we did work them on the glute bridges. So we're going to do actually um, wall sits. So find a clear wall. Find a clear wall. I'm going to come down. And just sit right here, okay? 30 to 50 seconds. We'll start in 15 seconds. So, you know, if you're using a door, just make sure it's not a door that someone could open and you fall through. Okay, we'll start in eight seconds. On that wall, three, two, one, and go. So 90 degrees on the legs, okay? Ooh. You want to make it harder, you can put your arms up, but you don't have to. Just focusing more on the legs. Okay, we're about 20 seconds in. Just working on our quads. We'll do our RDLs next 30 seconds. So after this one, we have core. 40 seconds, five, four, three, two, one. All right, come off. All right, and then now we have our planks, okay? So we're gonna go with the regular plank. Hey, Laura, welcome, Sherry. Hi, coach. Hello. Hello. Glad you made it. Yeah, sorry. The um, yeah. So the link, how you found it today? That's how I'll be moving forward. So I, I was looking for it everywhere, and finally I could find it. Okay. I'm gonna repeat the session um in the afternoon. Okay. No worries. You're not in trouble, so you're good. All right. Sounds good. Um. Alrighty. So let's go ahead. So, if you want to get more of a sweat on this one. 
instead of doing a regular plank, give me a mountain climber. So if you remember mountain climbers, we're gonna be right here. But if you just wanna work on core and less cardio, just give me a plank, okay? So yeah, we're gonna be here for a plank. And we're gonna hold that for 30 to 50 seconds. So starting in five, four, three, two, one. So make sure you're not up here and you know, have your hips low. Twenty seconds. Thirty. Forty. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. All righty. So one minute break, water break, restroom break, and then we'll start back up with our hopscotch, okay? All right. Okay. So instead of um, sorry, a hopscotch. Let's do either burpees or hand walkouts. Okay. So burpees or hand walkouts. So a burpee would be jump, plank out here. That's a burpee. Or if not, we could go hand walkout. Just crawl into a plank, and then come back up. And if you want to jump, you can jump. Okay. So we're gonna do that for thirty to fifty seconds. Ready? So burpee or hand walkout, we'll start in 10 seconds. Let's get you ready. So remember a burpee, jump, plank, out from there. Three, two, one, go. So hand walkout or burpee? All right, you got one person doing burpees. There we go. You'll burn a little bit more with burpees. You'll sweat a little bit more. If you're trying to sweat, make sure you're doing burpees. Go. 30 seconds in. Good job. You could switch it up to burpees the last 30 seconds if you like. So, morning, Rebecca, Mr. Ahmed. Five. Four, three, two, one, time. All righty. Okay. And then now we're going to go back to our lateral and front raises. Okay. If you're dumbbells, if you have those, we'll start in three, two, one, go. So eight of these. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, 
five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. Okay. 170 calories so far. Tricep kickbacks are next. We'll start those in 15 seconds. So remember, right here, up and back, and extend. Ready? Ready? So bend over, back is straight, not arch, elbows back, and 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We got wall sits coming up. Yeah, ladies. Here you go, Ella. Uh -huh. We'll start wall sit in about 20 seconds. Ten seconds. So find your wall. Ready? Three, two, one, go. 30 to 50 seconds. It's right here, hanging out. Halfway there. Thirty seconds. Forty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, right. and then our last one. We're on the floor. We're gonna do plank rolls. So regular plank, but we're rolling our legs or our hips side to side. Okay, maybe 20 seconds to get ready for those. Remember those, we're right here, and then you're just rolling your hips side to side. Okay. Let's start in five, four, three, two, one, go. So just on your elbows and roll your hips side to side. Pretty much by collapsing your, your feet, just rolling them side to side. Very good. Yeah, that one I felt it right away on my shin. So. Thirty more seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, nine. Okay. All righty. So one minute rest, and then we're going into our last set. Okay. So our last set is going to be for our back. We're going to do reverse flies. For our upper body, okay. For our arms and shoulders, we're gonna do an Arnold press. Okay, so bicep curled into an Arnold press. RDLs, so for our hamstrings, we'll do that one. And then any requests for cardio? You have any requests? You guys wanna hyperventilate for 30 seconds? Just, that could be cardio. Um, just stress out for 30 seconds. No, we could go ahead and do, um, let's do pop squats. So let's do pop squats. We'll do pop squats for um, cardio, 
also hits legs. And then for core, we'll figure that one out. Core's not too, there's a lot of options for core. Okay, so reverse flies, Arnold press, top squats, um, yeah, core, so RTLs. 190 calories right now. We're probably gonna get close to 300 today. All right, so reverse flies. Remember, we're bent over almost like the tricep kickbacks, but now your arms come away from each other and then control down. And if you want a little bit more range of motion, you could also go behind the legs and then you get more range of motion doing that way. Okay. All right, so 10 to 15. Ready? Okay, go. Seven. Let's catch your breath. Thirty seconds. All righty. Okay, so Arnold press. Remember this one, you could be kneeling down. So it's gonna be a bicep curl into a shoulder press. So here, rotate, press. Okay, so we're doing 10, 10 to 12 of those. Ready? Okay, go. So here, one, two. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, good. Okay. Let's go with RDLs, okay? We'll finish with the pop squats right before or after these. So pop RDLs, okay, we're here, slight bend at the knees. And you're gonna slowly bring your dumbbells down close to your knees, make sure your back is straight, and then back up. Okay, so it should be about a four second countdown and four seconds back up. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna do um, 10 of those. Ready? There you go. Flat down at the knees. Back up. Six, seven, eight, 
Stuff. All right, pop squats are next. That's going to be for 30 to 50 seconds. This will probably burn you out a little bit. Just remember, pop squats right here. So we're going to go down. Up. Okay. Start in 10 seconds. Ooh. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Pop squats. Okay, so we're doing those. Keep it going, ladies. Right here, 30 seconds in right now. Almost there. 40 seconds. Three, two, one, time. All righty. For core, we're gonna go ahead here, I'm going to go elbow to opposite knee, okay? Elbow to opposite knee for that one. We'll start in 15 seconds. About 240 calories right now burned. Ooh. Don't ruin those calories burned by buying a mocha, caramel, chocolate, frappuccino. Okay, so... Last thing you want to do is get all your calories from sugars. So you get fruit, just not sugars like that. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Thirty seconds. Forty seconds. Three, two, one, time. All right, one minute rest, and then we go into our last set. All right, all right, so we're going into our last set. Sorry about that. Um, we're gonna go again with our reverse flies. Start off, so we have a bit over here. Ready, okay, go. One, 
two, try to keep your head down for these. Three, you don't want to hurt your neck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're going to go with Arnold Press next. Yeah, I'm not a big coffee drinker, but I like the, the flavor. I think I've probably said this a million times to a few folks here now. But yeah, anytime I have caffeine, just back and forth from the bathroom. So TMI, I know it's a lot of TMI in this class. So we're gonna go Arnold Press. Okay. Ready? So 15 Arnold Press. Okay, go. One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, go for fifteen, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. We got our RDLs next. Two hundred and sixty calories burned. Does anyone have a fun week ahead of them, or kind of boring like mine? Yeah, yeah. Boy, I see a lot of nuts. <laughs> so, yeah, this week's gonna suck for me. It's the first week of school at Long Beach, and we're hosting our our home meet. So. A lot of time spent at the park this week. So let's go ahead, get our RDLs. If anyone has anything fun, make my day a little bit better, please share. All right, slide bend at the knees. Ready, go. So four seconds down, four seconds up. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh. It's Labor Day weekend though, so, oh. Speaking of that, so that means next Monday we don't have class because of Labor Day. So next week we'll just meet on Wednesday. Campus is closed, no classes. Laptop is closed, no classes. So four seconds down, four seconds up. So we're getting eight, eight of these. If you're feeling good, give me 10. Yeah, next week should be a little bit quicker because no class on Monday. And then we have our Fresno race. Uh, we have Fresno next week on Friday. So thanks. There's many of you folks from this class that supported that, that trip. So I really appreciate you. So that's a, a trip for next week. So we couldn't have done it without the support. So let's go ahead. Do pop squats. So pop squats for 50 seconds. Ready? Okay, go. So keep it going for 10 seconds in. 20 seconds in. Well, 30 seconds, keep it up. Yes, make sure you drop your glutes. So I'm seeing some people just bend over. If you don't wanna bend over, make sure you drop your glutes. 
10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. All righty. And our last one's going to be core. So it'll be here on the floor. And this one, let's go ahead and do, what can we do for this one? Let's do, uh, oh yeah, let's do it for our back a little bit, okay? So this is gonna be a knee, knee drop. So here on our side, you're gonna bring your knee like a crunch, but you're just gonna rotate your legs side to side. So this is working on your um, lower back. Okay? So you could have your arms stretched next to you here, and then just drop, and only your hips and your knees are moving, okay? 40 seconds. This one, we're just gonna go for 40 seconds. Okay, go. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All righty. Nice job, everyone. Ooh, let's go ahead and just stretch from here. Okay. Oh, yeah, definitely so sore. So we're here. Let's start off with our piriformis stretch. So let's bring our leg, left ankle over our right knee. Just bring your chest towards that leg. Feel that stretch under your thigh. Yep, so just shy of 300 calories for this workout. So remember, if you feel like some of the lifts are a little bit lighter, which they may be for your back, uh, make sure that, yeah, if you can, try to upgrade some equipment. But um, yeah, only if you want to. Switch. Let's go figure four. So legs are out, left leg is in, right ankle reaches for that ankle. I mean, right foot reaches, for, right hand reaches for that ankle and bring that left um, hind arm over and stretch. Right, let's switch. Grab a hold of that ankle and come across. Both heels in. Left and both heels in. Try to bring your chest towards those your feet. Let's cross them and lean forward. Okay. 
All right, last one. Legs are out. Let's bring that um, right heel in, left leg back, and lean back, stretching out your quads. So remember, Wednesday's class will be mobility and flexibility, just stretching. So um, yeah, if you want to burn more calories throughout the week, you could watch some of the other video recordings or go for a walk. Um, but yeah, let's make sure you stay active. And then remember, if you're trying to really cut down on some pounds or lo lose a little bit of weight, um, probably what I would recommend is just cutting out sugars or, you know, processed sugars from your, your diet, so. You have the option between fruits and veggies. I would go with veggies. Yeah. Quite a bit of nutrients for it, but not as many calories from the sugars in the fruits. So, you know, get it? It's natural sugars from the fruits. It's healthy, you know, a lot of vitamins and nutrients from fruits. But if you're on that weight loss journey, just stick with veggies over fruits right now a little bit more. Not forever, just for a little bit. All right, and that should do it for today. Like I said, right around 300 calories. I'm gonna end this recording. Any questions before we head out?